And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Welcome to the 2021-29 Hour Show! Wait, wait, hold on. Hello, how are you? I'm Braden Yeh. Welcome! So, it's called the 29 Hour Show because we're supposed to stay at school overnight for 29 hours straight and we write skits and stuff and it's all fun and good. Yeah, we, we didn't do that. So, yeah, the name doesn't really make any sense anymore at all. Might as well just call it show. Hello and welcome to show. We have good time. Oh, and I'm real glad you're here. I am, really, thanks. Yes, indeed, your time is very valuable, but I strongly believe that you will find this worth your while. <laughs> I mean, what else are you gonna do? Come on, be honest. Oh, and if you're feeling a little generous today, we are raising money for the World Health Organization's COVID-19 Solidarity Response Fund. With a name like that, how could you not donate? Nothing against you if you don't. I should emphasize that it's entirely optional to donate, so feel free to just kick back and enjoy the show. But a little goes a long way. So, are you ready? You sure? Hold on to your trousers, everyone. All right, dramatic narrator man. It's all you, buddy. Oh, we've got something real special for you tonight, so get comfy, folks. We've worked hard, real hard. So grab a chair, grab a snack, grab a drink, and grab a friend, cause we wouldn't want them to miss this, now would we? And so, without further ado, let's get this show on the road. And now, some wise words from my dear friend, Brooke, who knows exactly what she's talking about. Roll the clip. No parties because we're in a Parthenon. No movies because we're in the middle of a pandemonium. We can't go shopping because we're in a Pescado. Stay six feet, people, because it's a panorama. Wash your hands, people, it's a planetarium. Wear your mask, people, because we're in the middle of a panini. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you that one coworker you all hate in your Zoom meetings. We know who I'm talking about, right? Right, like the one... Well, this is awkward. I'm just going to... Is this thing working? I just got my computer fixed. Can you all hear me? Can you all see me? Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, well. Hi, everyone. You all know why you're here. Uh, there's no need for any introduction, so I'm just gonna hand things off to Beth right away. So, Beth, take it away. Yeah, okay. That's a very good point, Beth, and I just want to thank you all for being here today and taking time out of your busy lives to sit with us and have a conversation during this difficult year. It really means a lot, especially during this difficult year. I 100% I agree, not to interrupt again, but we should all be contributing to this project during this time. It's a great way to promote unity in the workplace. Um, Beth, I noticed that, um, Chad hasn't come to the meeting yet. No, no, Chad. Chad. Yeah, um, have you checked whether he's finished his designing of the title slide? Yeah, because we kind of need to get that done. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much, Beth. I appreciate it, especially during this difficult year.
I'm here for an interview with a, a man. He should be around here somewhere. The team told me he'd be wearing some sort of. Crop top. What? Who's there? What? what? Is that. Is that pile of clothes speaking to me? Yeah. I'm the guy you're looking for. Budget cuts. You know how it is. Times are hard. Oh, uh, okay, well, um... Are we doing an interview or what? I am, quite obviously, an honorable man of high fashion. My time is precious. Okay, geez. I'm just gonna ask you some, uh, uh some questions. You're, you're gonna give me some advice to the people watching at home. I'm sure you have, uh, experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, first question. How would you recommend those who are struggling with quarantine deal with their issues at this time? Personally, I've been experimenting with uh, new hair colors. Can't you tell? Your... What? Uh, y you know what? Never mind. Uh, continue. Anyways, experiment with your hair. Hair is infinite. There are no stakes. Because hair always grows back the way it was. It's a perfect pastime people with commitment issues. Eliminate therapy altogether. All right, uh, but are there any hobbies you would like to recommend people to participate in? Go on the internet, TikTok, Instagram, whatever. Just post a lot, talk to a bunch of people. Best case scenario, nothing really happens. Worst case scenario, someone sees the post and figure out how to abduct you. At least you get out of the house. Um, ne next, next question. Uh, how about advice for those struggling with online classes right now? Fail all of them. Stop keeping up with your work. Who cares what y equals mx plus b is? Be honest with yourself. You have to sleep in your bedroom right now. Just nod and smile behind the camera. Do the bare minimum. Maybe you'll barely pass. Hey, right, so you get degrees. And if a teacher is giving you trouble, you just lie about your Wi-Fi connection. What are they going to do? Come into your house and check? Okay. Uh, okay, uh, uh, and for the people who don't, who refuse to believe in the virus? I'm invisible, so I, I don't think I have an immune system. I probably shouldn't talk about viruses. Plus, it's so politically charged, and I'm a simple fashion center man. Uh, speaking of politics, how would you recommend helping those who are struggling with the current events of our world as of now? Look up all your relatives on Facebook. Notice how a lot of them are just really, really, really racist? At least you're not like them. It's an instant confidence boost. Should people be connecting with their loved ones online? I have no idea why anyone would want to reach out to people. Take advantage of being praised for not socializing. Remember how much we hated day delayed life before? Yeah, could go back to that. Be careful what you wish for. Well, thank you for your time, yes. sir. This has been... Um... The advice, I, I just, I, it may be wrong, but like, I can't say no to a man in a crop top. Visible man in a crop top. Yeah, strange as it is, yes, you've heard it here first, folks. Take everything this invisible man to heart. Okay, well, I don't have eyes, so I, I don't know when you're leaving. Hello? Hello? Ah, we would like the update. Hey all you lads and lasses, it's me, Price McSellerson, here with another once in a lifetime D. Alright, listen up, I present to you this exquisite couch. Now ain't that the nicest couch you've ever seen? But Price, I already have a couch. Well, you ain't never had a couch like this one. So here's your average couch, alright? Lame. And it can fit like, what, three, four people on it? Pathetic. Now this couch, ten people. Easy. Only $950. It's yours. Still not convinced? Look at those pillows. Aren't those just the nicest pillows? Oh, alright. Just this once. I'm gonna lower the price. $949.99. We got one. 
Hey, hey, Price here. Uh, all right, all you gotta do is give me your credit card information, the last four digits of your social security. Uh, wait, 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 mom? mom? What, mom? I, I, we've gone over this. I have a real job. I'm a salesman, and I, I sell stuff. I sell stuff. It's in the name, salesman. It's in the same. Yeah, yeah, five times a week, mom. Yep. Okay, yeah, sure. Mom, I'm trying to work here. Hey, Mom, you want to buy a couch? It's a really nice couch. It's just nine, 949. <sighs> I'm gonna go on my lunch break. Things in my white middle class suburban household that just make sense. I'm pretty convinced he has never said this. Poor case. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who are we welcoming? Who? I- Okay, this isn't even a joke anymore. Why? I have asked so many times. These are gingerbread- They're watching me. All the time. And I can't sleep. This shakes me to my core. I'm just gonna say it. Other story- The subtitle says it all. Hello, and welcome to our TED Talk. Today- we will talk about integrity, the Grimm brothers, dramatic pauses. So let's begin. We are going to be looking at the integrity of Jack and Jill, who was in fact the favorite child. Looking at the first line, Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch the pail of water. It can be inferred that Jill wasted all the water trying to give her pet fish, Fred, a bath. Because Jack is listed first, it can be inferred that Jack, being an utter Percy Weasley, jumped at the idea of being a favorite, ran to fetch the pail, and dragged Joe along with him to get the water. Also, Sleeping Beauty. Who in their right mind wastes their time as a main character trying to sleep beautifully? This unfortunate storyline implants an unrealistic image into young children's minds. Instead of getting a good night's sleep for what is sure to be an entertaining day at school, they are not going to sleep because they are trying to figure out how to sleep in a presentable manner while inwardly dying from the effort of not whipping out their retainer and throwing their orthodontic treatment out the window. Okay. Now I know all you youngsters are going to say, why mess with the classics? But hear me out. All the dwarves in Snow White are all like, you can only stay here, if you clean our house, cook our food, and make us gooseberry pie. Gooseberry pie? You can get gnomes off of Etsy for $14.99. And I bet they don't all bat their eyelashes at you every time you speak to them. And if the producers would have put them in the movie, they would have spent much less money on voice casting and could have used the money to buy, I don't know, useless Amazon purchases. Or maybe even gremlins would work. They would at least be good guard dogs. But unfortunately, only when you got them wet. And lastly, ladies and gentlemen, we have Pinocchio. That's right. We are going to be discussing our most inner guilt. Lying. Pinocchio is like the modern day lie detector test you see all those YouTubers take if you really sit down and think about it, which I guess you already are. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> his nose grows when he lies do we really want young children to think that their noses will grow when this is just fantastical nonsense let's be realistic here if our noses grew some of yours would be as long as the empire state building is tall also pinocchio teaches children it's okay to lie, because someone will always bail you out. AKA, the fairy. 
Like, this is not Cinderella, people. We can't just live in Mono Land forever. Thank you. She's back at it again. Some advice from your annoying coworker that you all definitely asked for and needed. Alrighty, I think we're just waiting for Karen. Yes, I think she's having some internet problems. Yeah, okay. Anyways, I just wanted to call you all here today to discuss something that has become sort of a problem in the workplace. Yes, Chad, I know that the project needs to be done, but not having a good foundation and an accepting workplace will slow our productivity down by a lot. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. So, um, I'm not happy with some people not checking their emails. As you all should know by now, we should be always, always, always checking our emails. Chad, I know you decided not to show up last time, so I sent you the slideshow for that exact same topic. All right, well, that's it, everyone. Again, I just want to thank everyone for your hard work and dedication. It really means a lot, especially at this present time. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, caramel macarons. Bowl. Eggs. Crack in the bowl. No, in the bowl. Egg whites. Whip. More. Sugar. More. Whip. That's satisfying. Flour. More sugar. Vanilla. Fold. Fold again. Pipe into circles. Rest for 35 minutes and multitask by making pasta. Be impatient, so try to microwave a macaron. It wasn't good. Bake! By the way, these are nut-free. That's why they look like that. And now, my favorite part. Frosting! Butter! Vanilla. That's kind of a lot. Sugar. 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 Fill. Fill. Butter. I have the sugar. One, two, three, four. Just, just gonna take this. Hey, hey, you know what it is. It's me, your boy, Price. Back at it again with another legendary deal. All right, let's see this time. What we got this time? We have a TV television. Oh yeah, this puppy's got it all. It's got 8K, it's got OLED, HD, MD, PhD, FBI, NYC, BRB, baby. But Christ, do you know what all those words mean? <laughs> No. You can never have enough TVs. Sure, you can watch a movie, a cartoon, maybe play some of those newfangled video games. How did you get creative? You ever went sledding before in the winter time when the snow was nice and slick and piled up? Yeah, <laughs> you don't need a sled anymore. Just lug that puppy to the slopes, scream down, zero friction. You can fit your whole family on it. The possibilities are endless. Starting again at 950.00 dollars. This one's all yours. Well, I think my work here is done. If you'll excuse me, it's time for my second lunch break.
with a big meal. So much they are stuck out. Flying as a group of alcohol. Can't get your chat check out. Toilet paper is a few people who are buying people. Price McSellerson, Price McSellerson. Howdy all you lads and lassies. Price McSellerson here with a can of Pringles. Men's gotta eat. You know, I could probably sell you that. These are terrible. Oh yeah, that's better, huh? Yeah, now this is a proper chip. Or a potato crisp, I guess. Well, I was, um, I was supposed to be doing something. I don't, I don't remember what. Um, Price, you're supposed to be selling stuff. Uh, all right, fellas and fellies, I know exactly what you want. You want a fridge? So this fridge keeps your food cold. Oh, all fridges do that? So this here refrigerator, this here refrigerator, it's got a touch screen. 950 bucks, just gotta call. Oh man, who knows what you can put in that fridge. Me, personally, I like to keep my Pringles in my fridge. What do you mean people don't do that? Remember kids, I'm not weird, you're weird. I'm out of Pringles. All right, all right, all right, I know you're missing her. She's just been really busy assigning herself projects, but I'm sure that she can come back and spend a little more time with you guys because I know that you all want her advice. I mean, she is really intelligent. Yes, the speaking note should be finalized by Thursday. Yes, we, well, well, I have developed a system to effectively get work done. And I believe that it will help us to continue have, to have a positive mindset during this difficult year. Yeah, so I actually went over the video conclusion and took some notes. 
I know that we're running short on this time in the meeting, so in our three o'clock meeting, I would like to read them to you because I feel like it would help us seem like a really cohesive team. Thank you. Where is my... Diana! Yeah. Where's my notebook? I don't know. Is it this one? No, it's the purple one! I don't know. I think it's on your other desk. Okay, I'll have it ready by 3 o'clock. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Whew. Finally, I can head to my Pilates class. And now, outfits for your household feline who hates you and will hate you even more now. Let's begin. OMG, no. Run, run, run. run. What are you doing to me? Don't touch me, peasant. Maybe if I lay here, I'll be invisible. You know what? I'm leaving. Why do you still have the Christmas tree up? It's January. I'm trying to nap here. Quit recording me. Voldemort! There he is, the boy who lived! Your reign of darkness is over, Lord Voldemort! Yeah, you go and kill Lord Voldemort, Harry Potter. Hey guys, but I gotta, I gotta, I gotta... Not now, Hermione! Neville's casting a spell and I'm trying to distract him! Abracadabra, Alcadam, California... I'll finish you off for good, now prepare to die! Oh no! Guys, I have a much simpler plan! Insane constitutionalism, A, B, C, D, E, Well, you can't beat him. Join him! Draco! Look over there, Snorkax. X, Y, Z, expel ammonia. Guys! <laughs> Hi, my name is Quinn Volpe. I'm a junior and I'm going to be singing a song called Lonely Little Angel.
and Bellas and Bellies. Bryce McSellers in here. So here's the thing. I've just been informed that I've been fired. That is fired up to sell you this coffee table. Woo! Oh, I love selling stuff. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. You ever drink coffee? You like tables? Well, boy, have I got the thing for you. Come on, look at it. And okay, maybe you don't drink coffee. Maybe you're one of those people. Dude, coffee tastes bad and you get reliant on it. Well, you're not wrong. Actually, you can drink whatever you want on this thing. It's just called the coffee table because some numb skull spilled coffee on it and it's stuck. Literally. You can drink anything want on this table, but come on, it's like going to a car dealership to buy a boat. Call now! Heck, I'll even throw in one of those, what should we call it, the glass, the, uh, the freaky Francines, the stupid Sally's, the, what's it called? Oh, Price never paid attention in English class, folks. You mean a lazy Susan Price? Oh, uh, oh, oh, I, I got it, it's lazy Susan! Hey. Oh man, if your name's Susan, you, you're practically obligated to buy this coffee table now. Nine fifty, nine, nine fifty, folks. Ah, we got one. Hey, hey, this is Price McSellis and all I need is your credit card information, the first four digits of your social. Oh. What? Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, that was me. And 50 minutes ago? Hey, yeah, yeah, che cheese and pepperoni, please. No, no, no anchovies. No, never. Well, I never order anchovies, man. It's gonna be another five minutes. Uh, uh, all right, man. Uh, see you. See you later. Uh, all in a day's work. Oh, I'm still on. Listen, kids. Before I go, I've got something to tell you. Some words to live by. A little saying that goes like this: a Salesman who does not sell is merely a man. Bob Ross. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time for my third lunch break. Nice out. Like every argument ever had with parents over text. Uh, JK. Hey, JK. Or am I? Hmm. I let out a big sigh to express my frustration. I sigh. Back in response and grumble out of what's wrong. I complain about something that is trivial and inconvenient to me. I start to plunge into a story about how when I was your age, I had a lot more work than you do. I loudly groan after you finish as I try to express to you that I was merely complaining, but I was still going to do the work. I scold you saying that if I had talked to my parents like that, they would have whipped the skin off my hide. I roll my eyes and groan louder as I secretly think about how my parents need therapy. I start to yell at you and ground you and demand that you give me your phone. I start to yell back and defend my position. Then, for the next 30 minutes, we scream at each other until I make you cry, take your phone, and yell at you to go to your room. I scream, I hate you, in your face, throw my phone at you, and stomp up to my room. I turn around and go back to what I was doing while grumbling about how this was all my child's fault. I thought we were having meatloaf. Meatloaf? But Dad, I just got home from college and I'm vegan now, duh! And they never had an argument again. Haha, <laughs> JK, JK, they're a family, what do you expect? Well, looks like you made it. See, I told you to be good. Well, there's nothing left to do, really. I guess this is the part where I 
tell you about the- Alright, enough of this guy. It's time to check out our wonderful cast members. None of this would have been possible without them, so please give them a generous hand. Please give it up for Hannah Oldham. Julia Jacino. Virginia Malkin. Rook Mendenhall. Sharon Lee. Noah Lego. Kate Snodgrass. Rucha Lova Laker. Oh, yeah, and, uh, this guy. Jeez, <laughs> oh, man, I, I couldn't breathe. Give me a warning, at least. Anyway, I was gonna remind you to please kindly consider donating to the World Health Organization's COVID-19 Solidarity Response Fund. The necessary link should be somewhere nearby, presumably down there. There's no middleman, no shady exchanges. All funds go straight to the organization, straight through their website. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Now, I'm sure you all have places to be, things to do. I'm not going to keep you here. So, once again, I'm Brady Gann, and this is me, signing off. See you around.